Hey guys, how are you today? I am back with another Priceline sale alert video. I feel like I've got this stick on my teeth. So it is that time of year and there's a daddy long legs up there. It is that time of year where the Priceline 40% off cosmetics sale is upon us. It is happening this Wednesday, the 22nd of March and Thursday, the 23rd of March. Actually, that 22nd is my wedding anniversary. It will happen in store and online and there's 40% off all cosmetics. I don't know what each store's policy is on essence products, but I know the ones that I go to do honor the half price or the 40% off, sorry. I have so many Many products to show you and I'm sure some of them are repeat offenders so you should definitely go and watch my previous sale alert videos I'll have them linked down below for those who haven't seen one of these videos before I just tell you what I'm gonna recommend and what's on my wish list to get at the sale yeah so <laughs> let's get into it I have a couple of primers I think I always mention these ones, the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. This is a luminous primer. It makes your skin glow and it's so pretty. It's not the best for oily skin, as I do usually say, but if you're just wearing it for like a special event, like a, you know, six hour kind of wear, I go with this all the time. Two silicon based primers I would recommend, the Face of Australia High Definition Primer and the NYX Photo Loving Primer. They both make your makeup glide on silky smooth and uh, make your skin look flawless. And they make your makeup last really, really well. This bottle is a little bit tacky, but it's the Models Prefer Finale Setting Spray. I love this stuff. The only thing is it does sting your eyes. So I would recommend like when you spray, just close your eyes. I'm going to do some now. Has a really nice scent. It just helps my makeup like settle into my skin and not be so powdery kind of thing. So yeah, I love this stuff. I use it most days. So this product, I did a whole video on these and this is the Australis Matchmaker Shade Adjusting Drops in the Lightening. As I said, I have a whole video on these and these worked really, really well. The darkening shades did work, but they're really only made to lighten your foundation maybe like one to two shades lighter. Um, darker, sorry. These can lighten your foundation quite a lot more than the darkening ones can darken, if that makes sense. They work really, really well. And you know, if you're like, I fake tan and I like, I think I'm the exception to the rule. I have like so many foundations I can find. I should be able to find one to match whatever shade I am. But if you're someone that has like a high end foundation or, uh, you know, you don't have 10 million foundations um, <laughs> and you want to change the shade this is this will work for you I did come out with the illuminating drops I personally haven't tried them out so I don't know whether I'd recommend them but I usually do recommend a liquid illuminator stuff in gold and I really like that but this one is a bit more of a champagne than gold whereas the glow drops are quite gold and quite pink if you get what I mean. If you've seen them, you know what I mean. But yeah, definitely would recommend these. Oh my God, guys. Oh, I'm so excited about this next product. It is brand new to Priceline. And if you know my love for the other product that's similar, Okay, okay, I'll just shut up. It's this. <laughs> it's the Essence I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. Thank you, Essence, for listening. I don't know if I impacted that in any way but anyway <laughs> they've got an eyeshadow base again and now this one is as it suggests a color intensifying this is their I love stage eyeshadow base which I I raved about so I'm a little bit sad that they haven't got this one back in but this one will suit those with fair skin as well um so it's meant to intensify the color of your shadows but it's also a really affordable primer so I think that this should be in stores it says from the 13th of March so it should be there it's normally five dollars anyway so if it if it isn't in stock, definitely put it on your wish list to eventually get. NYX contour kit, mine is absolutely filthy, but if they have this in stock, get it. It's really, really good. Now this is the powder one. I actually had a friend say to me, oh, I bought the NYX one and I didn't like it. And I'm like, oh, you use this brush with it. And she's like, no, it's the cream one. And I'm like, oh, you need the powder one. The powder one is really good. Although I did stuff that banana powder up because I used a, um, a sponge and you didn't like that so just keep that in mind but yeah the colors are really nice it does come with two highlights I don't know how I feel about them I don't love them um, but the contour shades are really nice I've had like quite a few friends ask me what uh, bronzer I would recommend from 
the drugstore or from Priceline or whatever. One that I do recommend is the Models Prefer Soft Touch Mineral Powder in Radiant Bronze. Now, I like this one because, as you can see, it's not like, it's not orange. Let me see if I can... I don't know if you can tell, but let me get an orange one and show you. Okay, so this is a L'Oreal Glam Bronze. So this is Glam Bronze and then this is Models Prefer. I don't know if you can see the difference, um, but I much prefer the Models Prefer one. I do use it on a daily basis. I don't know how it would work with fair skin. I tend to just use contouring products, like really gray toned ones when I do have fair skin. So I don't tend to use bronzers when I have fair skin. But if you you know, have like medium to tan skin, I don't even know where I put it. It'll be, <laughs> here it is. Um, this will be perfect for you. Another foundation is, this is a brand new one. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation. This is in the shade 21 Golden Sand. I also have number nine that I use, and that's like when I'm fair, but not super fair, like nearly all of my tans off, but it's not all. <laughs> One's not quite tan enough for me, but I think 24 would match me perfectly. I love this foundation. It has great coverage, great longevity. Um, it's drugstore and their color range isn't too bad for this one. I have found, I had three shades sent to me, but yeah, I really do like it. And I wear this one all the time. Another foundation. Now this one, if you're fair skin, get your hands on it. If you haven't already, this is the super stay 24 hour in true ivory and this is probably maybe like a little bit too light for me but it matches me pretty well great coverage great longevity I mentioned this in my other one I use ivory a lot as well I use like I have a few shades in this and I really really like it what I like about this one is it's not too pink it's a little bit yellow but it is quite neutral so yeah it's actually a bit yellow next foundation this is the Rimmel lasting finish so the red cap with comfort serum this is in 203 true beige and I've been wearing this one to work a lot Great longevity, great coverage. Do definitely have to set it though, because it can be a little bit sticky. Oh my god, this product I cannot live without. I wear it all, I wear it every day. Um, this is the NYX Dark Circle Eraser, and I have the color Fair. Now, I went somewhere the other day, and this was completely sold out. I think it was Target, actually. And it was just sold out, like there was nothing left. Oh, it's amazing. I put it on after my concealer, and it covers my dark circles really, really well. I have so many more products, so I really need to get a wriggle on. A concealer, Maybelline, Fit me concealer now I have the shade fair number 15 I have another one I think it's number 10 or something and it's it's not light enough so definitely get your hands on fair if you if you're if you have a similar complexion to myself um, I definitely want to pick up another fair essence make me brow I mentioned this in my last video it's a great little brow gel actually I'll just like pop it on now um, I have the blondie brows Staple Australis Fresh and Flawless. You need this in your life if you haven't tried it. I use it every day. Mascaras, Max Factor. Now, they've gotten rid of most stands in Priceline of Max Factor, but they do have mascara stands still. So I would recommend these two. I love these. This is the Max Factor Glamour Extensions 3-in-1 Volumizing. And then we've got the Masterpiece Max High of Volume and Definition Mascara. So the chunky one and then the skinny one. These are so good. They don't budge. Um, they don't say that they're waterproof, but... For me, I have an issue with mascara coming down here and coming up here, and they're they're amazing. An Essence Silky Touch Blush. I've been loving this. This is in Indian Summer. I actually have it on today. It's, it's really gorgeous. Love it. Their, their blushes are really affordable as well. So Lippies. Now, these ones are brand new. These are the Rimmel, um, what are they, they called? The Only One Lipstick. I've got two. So I've got Movement and Move Over. So these are all kind of like nudie colors. I showed them in my most recent Priceline haul, my massive Priceline haul. So yeah, I would recommend these colors. Love them. Everyday kind of colors. To go on top, <laughs> I don't know if this will be on sale, but I would recommend this Lano Lips Lip Ointment. This is in the color Rose. It's such a pretty lip gloss. It's like the perfect nude. I love it. Another blush I'd recommend is the Models Prefer Blush in Celebrity Crush. Oh, it's so pretty. It's probably a little bit like springy, summery for going into autumn and winter, but um, yeah, it's gorgeous. Now I've got these there, but yeah, it's so pretty. Another mascara. I've recently been loving this. This is the Voluminous False Fiber Lashes Waterproof. This has been my go-to actually because those Max Factor ones have run out. 
is great. It does like add a little, like I have it on today, it adds like a little bit of clumping. Rimmel Match Perfection, no this is, yeah, this is actually Match Perfection. Silky Loose Face Powder, I just actually topped up on this one, bought this one the other day uh, because I, yeah, it was a repurchase for me because I love it that much. Use this underneath the eyes to bake and yeah, sets everything in place and keeps it there all day. I also prefer Brush Cleaner, I think this will be on sale, um, just check. But this is a great spot cleaner. I just have like, don't mind this, it's dirty, but I just have like paper towel and then I just use this to clean a brush. Guys, I'm, I haven't like, I don't usually do this, recommend things that I haven't tried, but I was so excited when I saw this. This looks so awesome. Okay, so this was sent to me. This is an Essence eyeshadow palette, right? But as you can see, it's it, it does come empty. I have put two in there but they're interchangeable eyeshadows and they come in little packets like this. And you can choose your shades. Let me just swatch. We'll look at them on my fingers. So they're those two swatch. This one's like a champagne color, so it's a little bit hard to see. Um, but yeah, like super pigmented. Look how much is still left on my finger. So yeah, I don't usually recommend things that I haven't tried, but look, I'll be honest, Eyeshadows in Priceline for me aren't a big deal because they don't compare to high-end eyeshadows. But I feel like Essence ones are they're pretty good. Like there's they have some really good shadows. And the fact that you can make your own, like I have a few single shadows, and um, you know, I like they're just single, so they're they're kind of annoying. But the fact that you can make them into a palette that you can choose yourself, each shadow is only like three dollars each and I think that this is amazing that this is available in the drugstore like in Priceline so I don't know has anyone tried these I have I only have these three shades but yeah I just thought that this was such a cool idea and I wanted to share it with you guys because you know you want to see what's new and what to look out for so if you're after eyeshadow maybe give them a go <laughs> mentioned this in my last video this is a Maybelline lipstick in 207 pink fling it's my go-to lipstick you need this in your life I love it I use it most days um, it's a little bit manky. I should probably pick up a backup, but I love it. <laughs> lip liners I would recommend. Uh, Essence and Models Prefer. Love these lip liners. These ones are so super creamy, and then these ones are just super affordable, and they come in a great range of colors. Something that I haven't super tried out, but the um, the NYX Lippy Lingerie, or Lip Lingeries. Now, this is in the color 3, which is like, it's a quite nude color, but it's a beautiful nude. Two more lip products. So I've got Rimmel Lipstick. Oh, I always get the wrong one. This is number 42. This is probably for more fair skin. And then I think number 53 is the other one that I really like. I always forget one of them. <laughs> if you want to know what highlight I have on today, thanks to Christy at the Priceline pop-up at uh, Vamp. Oh, I just broke that. But this is this little Rimmel eyeshadow quad. And I have this highlight on and I didn't pack it on, but she put this on me at Vamp and oh my God, everyone was asking me what highlight I was wearing. It was, and it was this over um, Becca Opal. I didn't really love this eyeshadow palette, but I love this highlight color. So Essence Triple um, XL Shine Lip Gloss. These are great. And I really do like the um, matte, matte, matte lip gloss as well. That's really pigmented. Um, so they're just a few lip products. Lastly, models prefer brushes. I have a few. These ones in particular I love. This is the powder and bronzer. And I use this for like bronzer, like around the edges of my face. It's nice and big. And then this one I use for powder. This is the airbrush buffing. And I like that it's nice and flat. And I can just like press it in my face. <laughs> I also have like a, a smaller one of this and it's called I think highlight and contour and I use this for underneath my eyes like to bake the powder. You could also use it for your highlight. You could use it for so many things. So this one's really good for nose contouring. This is the shadow and concealer I think. Shadow and concealer for nose contour. That's really good. Actually, I might have something else on. Well, I think that that is... Oh, no. I've got to talk about what I want to buy. This video is already so long. Um, so, what do I want to buy? I want to get... Um, I'm just so overwhelmed right now. There's so many products in front of me. I do not need any more products. In Priceline, I saw a Models Prefer Brow um, pencil, like a wind-up thing, right? And it had like a spoolie on the end. And... 
I want to get that. It wasn't the... I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> there were two different types and it was like the skinnier one and it wasn't skinny like brow Wiz Anastasia skinny but I feel like that that would be the perfect quick everyday kind of brow if I'm in a rush because I'm always looking for things to save time with and brows get me every time I'd like to try the new Maybelline cushion foundation that looks all right but I but the thing is I assume it's gonna be like the L'Oreal one so Oh, I want to pick up that L'Oreal foundation in number 24. I always mention this. This is the L'Oreal Le Blush in Sandalwood Pink. Guys, I love this blush. It's like a, it's definitely like one of my faves. I really, really love it. This is so hard because like I don't need anything, but I know I'm, I, I know I'm going to get in there and be like, I don't need anything, but then I'll look around and my basket will be full and then I'll spend $300. I need to work out what I need to do to do a full NYX tutorial and a full Australis tutorial. There's a new Anoxa foundation. Um, it comes in a, like a little dropper. I want to try that because I've heard that that's really good. Oh my God. I didn't mention, um, any nail polishes. Um, I know my hair's a mess, sorry. The Superstay nail polish, I really like that. Um, if you are into like normal nail polish. And then if you've got UV gel polish, I have been obsessed with Soy Cap by a Pollock. So I will be getting another one of that and a top coat and base coat. I got a really cool color changing one, like a pink to, or red to pink. Uh, that's really cool. And so I'd like to see what other colors they have and just buy more of them. Oh, the CoverGirl Katie lipsticks. I think I want to get a few of those because I have one of them. Not that I've tried it, but I think like they smell really nice too. Oh, and NYX have these Beauty School Dropout palettes, which are so good. I haven't tried oh, I haven't tried it yet. That's why I don't want to mention it, but that's normally $50 and it comes with a whole bunch of eyeshadows and face products and everything like that. So that's something to think about as well. Great for gifts as well. You know what I want to get? I want to get that savvy powder that Sinead has been using. <laughs> Maybelline have this new, I have quite a few new products out and um, I haven't tried any of them. So I think that there's like a highlighting stick. So I'd like to give that a go. If you're wanting to know what lips I have on, it is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in Seduction. Um, I like it, but I don't like love it that much. But if you like it, that's what I'm wearing. Ooh, I want to get, and it's probably sold out, the Physicians Formula like Shimmer brick thingy. It's not a shimmer brick, but whatever it is. It's a highlighting eyeshadow thingy or whatever it is. I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but that thing, the nude thing, I have been wanting to get that for so long and I haven't got my hands on it yet. So you know what I'd like to try? I'd like to try a few more NYX products. And I said this last time, but honestly, like their, their range is different at each store. And there's a lot of products that aren't in stock, um, but I'd like to try a few more of their eyeshadow palettes because I like what I've seen so far. Even like a few more of their like face and eye palettes kind of thing. Oh, and I want to try one of the skinny little NYX uh, brow pencils too because Sinead loves that. Oh my god, I didn't mention the Master Conceal. Guys, I didn't mention the Maybelline Master Conceal. This is in medium, so it's way too dark, but this concealer is really, really good. Definitely get your, get your hands on this one as well. Um, as well as all these products. No, if you want, you don't have to get your hands on it. But it is really good. It's a great concealer. So I think I'm going to leave it at that today. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I do get a few requests to do these videos. So um, yeah. I need to go and edit it so I can get it up tomorrow for you guys. And then the next day is the sale and I will be there and buying up and then coming home straight away and filming the whole video and getting that up for you straight away. Um, so if you've enjoyed this video, we'll have a whole video up on Wednesday. So make sure you subscribe to get that. Of course, as usual, remember to be polite and courteous and um, friendly to everyone at the sale. You know, use your manners. I sound like a mom. <laughs> the beauty advisors are there to help you with products and the staff are there to help you as well. So don't forget to ask them if you need help. They're so friendly and so lovely and they're trying to restock as much as they can. Trust me, they they know how important it is to put the stuff on the shelf so you guys can get it. And it's just a crazy time. So there's usually a sale in you know March kind of thing and then again in November. So yeah, keep an eye out. But they have specials all the 
the time. If it's not 40% off, they usually have like 30% off or 20% off a brand. You've just got to wait for it to come up on sale. All right, so have an awesome time at the sale and I'll see you in a few days. <laughs> okay, bye.